Okay, so our next paper has a big grid of a bunch of words, doesn't it? Let's see what the directions say to do. It says use a yellow crayon to color the blocks that have words with a silent K, W, or B. Now let's look at this one. Do we say knit or do we say knit? Yeah, we just say knit like you might knit a sweater. So we're gonna color this yellow because it definitely has a silent K. So if there's a silent letter of K, W, or B, we're gonna color it yellow. Now in this next block, it says kite. That K isn't silent because it says k, 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 kite, right? What about this word, wrench? We don't say wo wrench, do we? No, so we're gonna color this guy yellow because it's not wo wrench, it's wrench. So this guy is getting a color. But kite, no color because it has a talking K, not a silent. This one's a little tricky, wealthy. And that W, we say, whoa, 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 wealthy. So it's not silent. But this one is your, this guy, your wrist. Do we say whoa wrist? No, the W is silent. If you have a, um, if you have a mosquito bite on your wrist, you don't say it's on my wool wrist. You say it's on my wrist. So the W is silent. Now this word has a K, but it's kitty, k k k kitty. That guy talks, so we're not gonna color him, are we? This is what happens to your pizza dough. How many of you love pizza? Well, they have to knead the dough, but they don't k-knead the dough. You know what knead means, right? It's when you roll it in a ball and press it down and move it around. That's kneading. Kneading has a silent K because we don't say let's k-knead the dough. All right. What about this one, lamb? Do we say Mary had a little lamb? No, the B is silent, so we need to color that. It's not Mary had a little lamb, it's Mary had a little lamb. So it's definitely got a silent B. What about crumb? Do we say crumba? No, your mom doesn't say don't get any crumbas on the floor. No. That B is definitely silent. It's crumb, not crumb. Okay, what about B side? B, 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 B. No, that B talks. So we're going to cross him out. Ooh, the boys might like to play this or see these guys at medieval times, or as Mick calls it, my evil times, and Emilia. She's got a great one too. I love how you guys say it. Is it knight or knight in shining armor? It's a knight in shining armor, but this kind of knight starts with a silent K. That's interesting. So if you wanna grow up and be one of those knights at medieval times, you have to learn that it's a silent K for the word knight. That's how we would spell the title of your job. What about slab? Like a big slab of concrete? That one says the B sound. So, uh -uh. that one does not have a silent letter. Now this isn't ring that you would wear. This is like getting the water out of a towel and squeezing it, wringing it out. That has a silent W. Your mom doesn't whoop ring out your washcloth. She rings it out. So the W is definitely silent W. Ring. What about 
written. Would it be written or just written? Yeah, that has a silent W. We don't say written. We say all of my work has been written. Silent W. Now this one says thumb. Would, is it your thumb? See the B at the end? Ouch, I hurt my thumb. No, that's got a silent B also. It's not a thumb. It's a thumb with a silent B. What about this word, which? Like, which one should I pick? No, we say that W, so we're going to cross that out. What about plumber? Do we say call the plumber? No, that B is a silent B. It's not a plumber. It's a plumber. That B does not say anything at all. It's silent. Now, this word says kettle. Is that silent, K? No, we actually say ka 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 kettle. So that gets crossed out. What about knock? Do we say ka knock? No, we say knock. So that K is silent. We don't say let's knock at the door. We say let's knock at the door. What about unpaid? No, there's no silent K, W, or B. What about not? Tie a knot in your shoe. That has a silent K. We don't say, hey, tie a knot in your shoe, or Miss Parnell, my shoe has a knot in it. We wouldn't know what you meant, would we? That definitely has a silent K. What about rewire? No, that W talks, re-w-w-wire. What about wriggle? Yeah, that has a silent W. We don't say the fish was woof wriggling. We say the fish wriggled on the line. So that has a silent W. What about club? No, we say that B, club. All right, nice work on the front. Let's see what we've got going on on the back. It says, find the consonants that are the same. Color them green. Divide each word with a dot. So this is Dr. Dot. What is this word? Happy. 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 When you clap it, it's hap dot e p. Happy. What about this one? What are the two letters that are the same? Yeah, Uncle Short. Two letter T's, two consonants together is Uncle Short, telling you that it's a short sound. And this one, Dr. Dot, goes in between the letters that are the same. Letter. What about this one? Silly has two letter L's that are the same. Silly tells us it's short. And Dr. Dot would go in between them. Silly. Silly. Next, we see a bad cat over here. Bad cat ing. And the K is silent. It's knit ing. So we have to color these T's because they're the same. Knit ing and Dr. Dot would go in the middle of them. Hmm, now I see bad cat est and I see two letter ends, thin est. 
Well, since there's two ends, that means that this word is short. That's Uncle Short. Thin ist and Dr. Dot goes between the two ends. Our last word is buddy, buddy. And the two that are the same are the two letter D's. B-U-D-D-Y, buddy. And Dr. Dot goes between the two letter D's. Nice work, good job on this paper.